Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to explain you how to assign the section properties to the empty grid. In the earlier videos, we have seen defining the section properties and defining the material properties. Let us see how to assign the sectional properties to the empty grid. I'm going to continue in the same project which we have saved earlier. I'm just opening the same project. In the earlier videos, I have explained you how to create the material properties and how to create the sectional properties for the beams, columns and slab. In this video, let us see how to assign the created sectional properties to the empty grid. Now this is an empty grid. So it doesn't have any beams and columns and slabs. First to assign the beams and columns or slab, here we will make use of this draw menu. In the draw menu bar, you can find various draw tools. In this, just click on this draw beam. You can find various options which are used for drawing the beams, columns, and slabs. Okay. First of all, let us assign the beams. To assign the beams onto the empty grid, here we'll be having two methods. One is draw beam column, and the other one is quick draw beam column. Let us see what is this draw beam column. First of all, select this draw beam column. As we select the tool, our cursor will change to assigning mode. Okay. So as we select the tool at the left bottom corner, you will get one more window with the name properties of object. So here you can find the properties of the object like beams. Okay, in the properties, select the beam property which you require to assign to the grid. Okay, so here the beam property is of 230 by 375. Just click on that. And first of all, you have to specify the starting point of the beam and the ending point of the beam. You have to specify two points to draw the beam in this particular method. So likewise, I, I'm just specifying in the points here. So you can see the changes over in this third uh, 3D view. In the 3D view, you can see the changes. So the beams are drawn only in the 10th story. Okay. So why the beam draw only one uh, tenth story? Because the our story plan view of story 10 is active and the story settings is only one story. So whatever the uh, changes that we'll do in this particular story, those will be limited uh, to that story itself. If you change the story settings to all stories, then whatever the thing you will draw, it will be applicable to the remaining stories as well. Okay, the beam ha has been drawn in the remaining stories as well. Look at this. This is about the first method, first method of drawing the beam. Let us see the second method of drawing the beam. Go to draw, draw beam column. And here you can find the option called pick draw beams. Select this method. So in this method, you don't need to specify the starting point and, and the ending point. Here you just have to specify the grid. Okay. So with the reference of the grid, it will automatically uh, draw the beam. So here after selecting the property of the beam and just click on the grid, specify the grid. So as you move your cursor just nearer to the grid, automatically it will snap a reference line where the beam is going to be placed. Just have it click that it will automatically place a beam at that particular grid. So this is how to assign the beams. So let me uh, delete these beams and I'll assign from the beginning. So select all the things just by covering the part in the rectangular region. Just long press and drag to select the objects and then go to edit. Here you can find an option called delete. Just click on this delete or else you can make use of the option in the keyboard delete. Okay, to delete the objects. Now let us uh, take the beam tool, draw beam. Here I'm just using the quick draw beams to make my work very quicker and easier. Just select this tool and set the property. It's a beam to 30 by 375 and assign that property. I'm just assigning at a time to all the grids at a time just by dragging like this. Okay. See, at a time, the beams along X and Y axis have been created throughout our structure. Now, next thing is, let us see how to assign the columns. Okay, go to draw option, draw beam column. Here you can find an option called quick draw columns. In the brackets, you can see the views, plan 3D. Here you can see the plan elevation 3D. So these are nothing but these are the suitable views to use that particular method. Okay, so to draw the columns, you can make either you can draw in the plan view or in the 3D view. Okay, so first of all, I'm just selecting the tool. After selecting the tool in the properties of objects, check the property. So select the property of column here. Click on the drop down arrow. You will get the various properties and that select the property of column. And then just 
Click on the point where you would like to assign the column. So I would like to assign the column at this, at this particular corner. Just have a click there. So the column has been assigned. If you look at this particular thing, the column in the column, the longer span of my column is along the x axis. It is along its x axis. If in case if you want to change the orientation of the column, okay, to so change the orientation of the column, just activate the beam, beam column and click on this withdraw column. And in the angle, in the properties object, in the angle, just specify the 90 degrees angle and it will change the orientation of our column. Look at this. The column orientation has been changed. So likewise, we can change the orientations of our column as well as per our requirement. Here I'm just assigning the column with the same orientation to the remaining things. I'm just covering the grids. Automatically, it will detect the intersection and it will assign the columns. So likewise, wherever we require, we have to cover that part in, the, in our selection and we have to assign the columns like this. So automatically, as our uh, all stories option is on, so the columns have been assigned from top to bottom at a time. This is how to assign the columns. Now let us see how to assign the slabs, slab sections. To assign the slab sections, go to draw, and here you can find an option called draw floor wall objects. Here you can find three methods to draw the floors, nothing but draw the slabs. The first method of uh, slab drawing is select this draw floor, and here in this method, in the properties of, of object, select the property of the slab that which we have created. It is nothing but slab of 150. And here we have to specify the four corners of our slab. Okay. We have to specify the four corners. So at the end, just press enter. So automatically, it will draw the slab from top to bottom like this. We have to specify the four corners of our slab. And at the end, just press enter. This is the first method of drawing the slab. Let us see the next method. It is of drawing, or sorry, draw floor wall and just select this draw rectangle. This is the second method of drawing the floor. Select this and after checking the property that is of slab 150, you just have to draw a rectangle like this. Okay. You have to drag from the top left corner to the right bottom corner. You have to draw in such a manner like this. Just like drawing a rectangle. Just like drawing a rectangle, you have to draw like this to draw the slab in this method. So now let us see the third method. The third method of drawing the slab is big draw floor wall. Okay, select this method and check the properties of object. And here you no need to draw anything. You just have to click on the internal region where you require the slab. Okay, so automatically it will detect the closed region and it will assign the slab in that particular region. Okay. Likewise, just with a single click, we can assign the slab here. So now through the entire structure, we have assigned the slab at a time from top to bottom. If you look, in the, look into this 3D thing, here at the ground level as well, the slab has been assigned. But at the ground level, we don't have our slab here. So we have to delete the slab only in that particular story. Okay. So here the ground story is of nothing but the base story. Just place your cousin. So it is showing that the grid point A5 base, nothing but base story, it is a base story. We have to open the plan view of base story and we have to delete the slab in that particular story. Okay, so come to this viewport. In this viewport, I'm just going to this activate the base story by using this set plan view. Select here base and then click on apply. Now the base plan view it is showing me the base plan view. Just change the story settings to one story. So that whatever the changes I'll do in this story will be limited up to this story only. So select the slabs. And I'm just selecting the slabs. And then just click on delete. See, look at in the selection, the slabs are selected only in that particular story. Go to edit and then just click on delete. The slabs have been deleted. So now here ends the process of assigning the section properties nothing but assigning the beams columns and slabs here is the video thank you for watching the video in the upcoming video i'm going to explain you how to analyze a simply supported beam i hope you have got the beneficial information through this video subscribe my channel and share this video with your friends as well thank you we'll meet back in the next video